Well, here on the program, we have discovered that there are many people who enjoy collecting antique tractors and tractor memorabilia. We heard about one man in Fairfield who was actually restoring a building in town that used to be the John Deere dealership there. In this segment, we learn more about this unique effort to save a piece of the past. We are in Fairfield and we are learning more about a unique place here. Uh, joining me now is Brian Wolf. So you are a John Deere enthusiast, I would say. Yeah, I guess you'd call it that. <laughs> and we are in what was the original John Deere implement dealership. Yeah, it was. Uh, they built this building in the early 50s, 51, 2, right in there. Uh, they had their grand opening in 53. It was a John Deere store till about 75, late in 75, uh, and they built a new store outside of town, out east of town here. Then after that, it was a mechanic shop for about 42 years. And after that, I bought it and been renovating it ever since. Would you say it's kind of a museum? Yeah, it's kind of a museum. I don't know, I just kind of always had it at the back of my mind for the last several years. I knew when the guy that had it, when he was ready to retire, something had to be done with it. It was either fix it up or whatever was gonna happen to it, but it was it's a good place to store my stuff. And I remember coming in here as a kid when it was a John Deere store with my dad and whatnot, so. So that's a neat feeling. It is, yeah. What are some of the features of this building that you like? Oh, I don't know if there's anything specific, just kind of coming in here and as you walk in. Um, for example, those three pedal tractors there, all three come out of this store. One of them I bought on a local sale here that I know come out of here and I used to ride it when I was a little kid. The rest of the stuff I've just been kind of collecting up here. Got a 35 John Deere deal over there, fully restored. Uh, 1968 112 lawnmower, all restored. There's an old buggy over there. It's an original John Deere one, I don't know what year it is. Bob Hines is a local guy here in town. He uh, was a partsman here in the 60s and early 70s till they left here and he had saved some stuff that he kind of gave to me to put it back in here. All the toy tractors over there are all kind of period reminiscent of the, of the store. The upper row of tractors are tractors I had, toys what I had when I was a kid. The old owner of the store, uh, Daryl Susie, he gave me his uh, pair of green pants and one of his shirts. He always dressed in John Deere attire. He didn't dress casual when he come to work. That's just, it's just an old parts counter. Uh, I bought it on a sale over in Iowa and it's just parts cabinet. Same thing with that, it's just an old parts cabinet over there. Manuals. Those yep. are manuals, owner's manuals. I've got some there. I've got some over on the counter over there. Well, you've even got some John Deere implement paint thinner. It's kind of all period correct cans, whatever for the, for the store, like I said, from the 50s and 60s. And some of the stuff is from the early 70s, but I kind of draw the line at about 74 or five, somewhere in there. I don't sell parts. Okay. I just, just collect them for show. <laughs> can people come and see this? If I'm here, they can stop in. If I'm not here, they can, if they have my number or whatever, they can get a hold of me and we come down and look around. Why do you think it's important to hang on to this and kind of redo these kind of things? Oh, I don't know. I needed a place to go with my, with the stuff I've been collecting. Obviously the parts rooms, quite a bit smaller than what it was, but like I said, I don't sell parts or nothing. It's just stuff I collect over the years. Okay, Brian, well, this was really fun. It was kind of like uh, maybe a step back in time a little bit and just an opportunity to see what you've been doing. And thanks for being here today.